Hey guys, and here we are again. Today we are building a greenhouse. The very first step I have is just a really simple foundation. How many, how many ever you like. Usually I do a 3x5, really small, super easy to lay down, not a lot of effort, nice flat. Next step I usually do is I put down a pipe system. And what I do is I build a vertical pipe upwards and then all my horizontal pipes outwards, or my uh, my T-joint pipes, as seen. And so it's really easy, and that helps to irrigate your crops better. Next, all you do is you go around the perimeter of your 3x5 with just greenhouse walls, with one greenhouse wall in the middle of each center section. On one of those middle sections, on the ground floor, you're actually going to put a greenhouse door frame and now it can be a greenhouse door frame or greenhouse double door frame that's your choice it's either option frankly it is a person's choice for aesthetic that's about it okay now that you put your door place in there what you do is you actually put an entire second layer of normal greenhouse walls all around your top of your greenhouse and then you will actually put a third layer in those center spots just to indicate where you want your center part of your roof to be and then of course you put your left and your slopes left and your right sloped walls on opposing sides of that third story center wall so then now you have a sloped wall that is actually high enough that it covers your pipes and none of them stick out and looks a lot more seamless versus having just two stories. Of course you put your slanted roofs on top of your slanted ceilings. It gives your greenhouse a very nice aesthetic look while being easy to achieve and simple enough anyone could do. As a, lux as a last step for the roof, you will actually put just normal greenhouse ceilings in the middle section cover connecting the two third story greenhouse walls. The next step that I usually do is I put water taps on all my pipes that are floating above me. And that is to make sure all my crops are irrigated, but it's out of the way. And you can still manage to look up and take a drink if need be depending on however your server is, wherever you play. You can put as many or as few as you like as long as you cover your crops. I prefer to make mine aesthetic and put them on almost every junction. That's just a me thing. Now, one of the big steps, of course, you have to do is you have to put down, usually I put down medium, medium crop plots for all of your fruits and vegetables that you can grow. Now you can grow just about anything in a medium crop plot. You can grow narco berries, or you can grow savaru, long grass, etc, etc. I usually have a preferred limit of potatoes, carrots, um, lemon, and then of course long grass, or also known as corn. What I do for the pattern in my greenhouses is at least this very simple one, is you just try to make sure that they get as close as possible so you can squeeze as many in there as you want and then you line each side of the greenhouse and then down the middle so you still have plenty of room to walk on but you don't have to walk on your actual crop plots because you know you don't want to do that it's bad So now all of our plots are down. So now they are irrigated, and now we just have to seed and fertilize them. So of course you're going to need feces, and then you're going to need the seeds of choice to put in them. So I've already filled these 
I like can tell with fertilizer. You usually need a few in there at a time. Again, depending on your service settings, sometimes you need more. But I ended up filling mine with about two to three fertilizer per each fertilizer plot. And it really helps to get your uh, crops growing very quickly. You can also do this with medium to large animal feces. Small doesn't really work that well. But it just takes slower versus normal fertilizer. And then of course, I'm going to plant the four different types of seeds that I like the most. All you do is you drag your preferred seed into the crop plot. And as soon as it starts there, as, in, as long as it's watered, has fertilizer and the seed in there, they'll start turning it into middlings seedlings and then middlings and then full grown adults and they'll give you plenty of seeds. And this is what the final greenhouse looks like. There's a pipe connecting down to the little lake below. It's very nice and quaint and very small. You can put it just in the back of your base and it is super easy to manage and it'll give you a lot of different plants and whatever you need to grow for kibble and etc. So thank you guys for watching again. If you like this video, share, subscribe, hit that like button, and the bell notification just to see when I post. And I will see you guys in the next video.